Lord, take my life, take all that I have and all that I am, use it for your glory. We can be salt and light in the society. We serve to the Lord and we serve the community as Jesus asks us to do. Namaste Jai Masi. The blood bank and medical camp is so important because of the poverty uh, of the people who lives in the remote area where there is no access of health service. So now we are uh, grouping all the common medications in the centre so that it will be easier for us to pick and pack. You know, Grace Mission started doing medical missions when the tsunami hit Sri Lanka. That was in 2004. So that was the establishment of the Grace Medical Missions. We have a triage where we screen all the patients and after which they proceed to the various consultation room. We have a team of doctors that will see all these cases, also do perform minor surgical procedures. And then we also have a dental, which uh, consists mainly of uh, extractions after which the patients will all proceed to a pharmacy. Sometimes we do some uh, counselling on uh, their various health conditions. Uh, even though we could give them medicines, there was a limit in what we could do for each patient. What the people really need, right, is uh, they need a great physician, they really need a lot. That's the heartbeat. If there is the greatest need, we will try to meet the need. Sometimes we see up to 3,000 patients with all the basic health needs not being met at all. In Singapore, we're very blessed and privileged to have all this infrastructure, hospitals, clinics, uh, unlimited disposables and medications. But yeah, here we are limited. We want to give the opportunity to the young generation to uh, help to support this machine. Then second one is we want to mobilize the youth church leaders uh, in the hospitals so that the patient can get good service. And third one is give uh, a scholarship a person who can be a lab assistant in the future. Even we want to produce some doctors so that God's name be glorified. Once we give, this is not enough, but we, it has to be continued. 我觉得每一个人可以都踏出你的第一步It was a wonderful moment for me. I've learned a lot from here. It had uh, impacted my life. In our place in Nagaland, like, it's a new thing. It has been a wonderful experience. I learned a lot of things from this seminar. I think I'm confident now to lead the worship. Shalom. I am Reverend Moses Mori. Nagaland is a Christian state, full of churches. But we are lacking the worship style or system. Most of the churches are traditional church. All the churches do not have such contemporary worship. 
Most of the churches, 80% of the time, use hymns. However, in the youth service, there's a lot of like contemporary music, there's praise and worship, but we are not trained to do it well. So it ends up being a inspiration. So we just sing one song as the CD records. There's no this, uh, this concept that they are part of the worship team serving as Levites. <laughs> I believe in Jesus. I believe in Jesus. Worship means to give reverence to God. I've come here having the mindset to contribute, right? Um, but actually, I, I feel that I receive a lot more as well. You guys really need to come out to the field and experience your, yourself because the people here may not have much, but you see how God has provided for them. You don't really have to be, you know, have a certain level of intellect or certain skill in order to come missions. I think it's really a good experience for you to partner God in uh, His missions work. If you avail yourself, God will use you mightily. I'm more a recipient than a giver. I, I think I really learned a lot from the people here. Their hearts and their hunger for God and their willingness to want to learn more about Jesus. You begin to talk to God in your own ways. Say, God, I believe in you. You are Lord, thank you for what you have done through me. Thank you for blessing the works of my hands. I pray that you would continue to make me a light to the nations and that you would do greater works than before. Amen. <laughs>